teenager's life ending suddenly, but helping others go on. An accident cutting Zach Monday's life short as just 15 years old. His friends and family mourning his loss, but also knowing that even now he's supporting others. Today, Zach's family saying he's saved the lives of four people by donating his organs. New here at 4, WATE 6 on your side. Reporter Laura Holm has spent the day talking with those who were so close to Zach, remembering how special he was. Well, from classmates to their parents, everyone I spoke with today kept telling me the exact same thing, that Zach was a great kid and he's everyone's little brother. So these are some of the pictures that friends shared with me. They say Zach was an incredible friend, someone they could share all their secrets with, and he would just listen. Zach's classmates add he loved making people laugh. He was goofy and loved sharing funny songs and videos. They say his joy and big personality are what they'll miss most. This summer he did get saved and like a few days later he got baptized and it was one of the sweetest moments ever and finding the video and pictures recently just like gave me comfort to know that I can see him again. That's the, the one thing that I do miss the most because like when like so like when stuff happens and you get upset and you need someone to talk to he was oh he was always really good with words he could always like cheer you up within like 10 minutes like he was super like super good with his words like I said and he like could always cheer you up super fast like either rather him, him do something funny or say something funny or just like show you a video. Now the last few days have been really hard for friends. They say they're still in shock. They're confused and it hasn't really sunk in that Zach's no longer here, but friends say they do find comfort that he's in heaven. Now friends close to Zach's family have set up a GoFundMe page to help with hospital and funeral expenses. At last check, $4,000 has been raised. Guys. All right, Laura, thank you so much. And we have been hearing today that there might be an investigation into his death. We have confirmed with the Knox County Sheriff's Office that they are indeed looking into the circumstances surrounding the 15 year old's death. And as soon as we know more, of course, we'll be sure to share that with you on air and online. Absolutely.